Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This last week of Make Your Mark Team 1 has been characterized by the inability to pack these cards, right? The menu grind has not been good. The upgrade packs, especially the 81 plus player pick and the 86 double, have not been our favorites. But one thing can change all of that today because we're getting more Make Your Mark cards and all EA have to do is make one simple tweak and this could return back to path to glory levels of hype. I want to talk about that today and look through some of the leaks, all the cards we're expecting to see as this team goes out and a new one comes in, and some SBC and evolution leaks as well. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now let's talk about yesterday's Thursday content real fast. We had an end of an era yesterday. Haven't had one of those in a hot minute. Leonardo Bonucci, four playstyle pluses. Um, you know, it's kind of reminding me of the Chiellini end of an era, either last year or two years ago that we had kind of in this same late stage of the game. He's got long ball, intercept, slide tackle, aerial, 96 defending, 96 physical. The pace split is the only issue, but I think he'd be fine on the pitch. Um, 94 sprint speed, he would get back pretty fast. And those defending stats, along with the play styles and play style pluses that he has, this is also a very fun card. Guys, the SBCs of this last week of Make Your Mark, I know this has nothing to do with Make Your Mark and live cards, but a lot of these SBCs that have been right around the like 100 to 200,000 coin range have just been fun. Genuinely a fun card. If you have Balotelli or you're running an Italian team or you just have some extra fodder and you want another center back, we've had a lot of center backs recently, but not very many with four play style pluses. For 115,000 coins, it is a W in my opinion. And Benucci has had some mental cards in the past. So that's kind of a card I would be interested to try, especially if there's like an Italian weekend league at some point or Italian, maybe even the cup. That could be a pretty nice card. So I like it that it's cheap, even though center backs are like everywhere at the moment. We've had so many and there's a leaked one coming again soon. I think that's a great SBC. We also had marquee matchups dropped yesterday, which is, of course, every single Thursday on this game. The real interesting stuff was in objectives, right? Thursdays are the cup days, are the objective days and XP days. And yesterday, they dropped a whole load of XP in here with a new cup and a couple of specific objectives first of all this copa america throwbacks kind of like that um you know euro flashbacks objective that we had or the euro throwbacks right we now have a copa america one this one's not as much of like a mystery as the euro one was because they just tell you uh what it is except for a couple of them so i want to throw up this tweet right here shout out to foot police uh leaks on twitter for finding this out right away so if you want to screenshot this or bookmark it or whatever those are what you need to do to complete this activity. XP. It's a nice bunch of XP. A lot of people, I even saw people yesterday claiming Bernardo Silva. Like, I don't know how people are already, you got to be grinding like crazy. If you're already claiming cards over here, level 26 and above. Some people were saying they were getting Alexis Sanchez as well. GG's. Like, that's a pretty crazy grind. But a lot of that XP that was dropped yesterday... Um, is allowing people to level up for sure. We also have the Mixed Nations, which is Brazil and Chile. And the One Nation Cup, EA did not do what they did last week, right? Last week, they doubled down on England. This week, they said, nope, it's going to be Spain, right? We have an 84 double and the 83 pluses, so the packs aren't that good. But again, it's more XP. And as, of course, you would expect, the Spanish cards on the market are going up. And again, guys, it's a lot of the defenders and it's the goalkeepers. This cut of a haul is 70,000 coins. Yesterday, he was 50k before the content drop and before this uh, cup was released. Now, honestly, when I looked at my club, I had a pretty nice set of Spanish players. So I'm actually kind of interested in trying this cup out. Isco, 140k up to 180,000 coins, 178 right now. So check your clubs for some of those because a lot of those cards are going up and there should be decent opportunities to trade with some of these if you want to. They'll have some fluctuations. Yesterday, right when this dropped, we were kind of looking through some of the cards that people were maybe going to go and buy. I picked up two Winter Wild cards, Puteus, for like 100 and, what was it, 119 or 112,000 coins, something like that. Sold at 143 and 145, right? Go for the big names, go for the rare cards. They're going to move up and down, and they're going to fluctuate. So, the Spanish teams are out and about right now in the cup. Also, I found that if you save that a little bit till later, like if you wait until next Wednesday or Thursday to play that cup and if you're not in a hurry for the XP the games get really easy at the end I noticed that because I've been saving the cup for like the final hours before the new one comes in so just wanted to mention that uh, because that is there and it's making some Spanish cards go up now 
we also had the upgrades, the latest upgrades. First day yesterday, just a few hours ago, the game ended, uh, of course, for Copa America. Those upgrades are not out yet. So again, that was my question yesterday, and I still have that question heading into today on a Friday early. What are those upgrades going to look like for Copa America? When are those going to come through? They're not out yet. EA did release the Euro upgrades, though, on time per normal, but we have our first mistake, and it actually is a mistake that benefits me and probably some of you guys as well. First of all, Le Normand is the first Make Your Mark card to get a stat boost. He had his cl second clean sheet as Spain beat Italy 1-0 yesterday. I mean, technically Spain didn't even score, right? It was an own goal. Own goal is kind of the player of the match of all these tournaments, to be honest, but Le Normand got the first stat upgrade there. He looks awesome for the cup. If you pack this card, GG's, he looks pretty good. And uh, Schmeichel, of course, for the goal for Denmark and Gerard for the goals for England went up in rating but all of a sudden Vidic got a plus one as well and this is where it benefits me because I have Vidic I packed him I'm sure some of you guys have as well he did not deserve the upgrade that was the mistake right because Serbia scored their first goal of the tournament yesterday not their second goal and it again is the two goal threshold that gets players their first plus one overall so i don't think ea is going to revert the upgrade right when they've done done things like this before in the past it usually just stays so now like imagine serbia go ahead and win or sorry not even win but in their last euros match whenever that is a couple days from now let's say they score three goals and they hit the four goal threshold he will have four place now pluses and probably get another plus one because they messed up so once he hits two goals this could be a 98 vintage out of nowhere so i'm very happy to have packed this card but that's pretty crazy now the flip side is this card did not get upgraded captavia spain hit two goals right um actually sorry they hit their second upgrade mark they hit four goals in the tournament he should have a fourth play style plus and he does not so ea made their first mistakes with the upgrades there just to mention for vidic as well as you would expect a upgrade happening out of nowhere his card has gone up Oh my gosh, 600k, you gotta be kidding me. He was 1.3 million coins. He's up 650,000 coins from where he was after the game yesterday. I don't know if that's gonna hold, but what a rise for Vidic. And again, a lot of these cards continue to do pretty well in price. You guys don't need me to tell you that because you've invested in a lot of them and you're seeing the prices go up. However, there are some prices that are going down. And yes, it's the English cards because of yesterday's poor performance and the draw right i'm even disappointed here because i did the joe gomez a lot of you guys have pickford from weekend league and maybe you packed walker or maybe you have a Saka that you were hoping to see get upgraded and uh or this cole palmer who still hasn't seen the pitch and of course dropped from 2.2 mil down to 1.7 uh where's the walker card because kyle walker was fluctuating a lot yesterday he's 1.33 he is down a good bit and then I want to look at Saka as well. Saka was at 1.2.7. He's now 2.9 mil. If you get a low price on any of these cards today, specifically Saka or Kyle Walker, I do believe, like we've been talking about every single day, buying after the match in the panic sale, if you get a, a low price, maybe with content today, some of the cards dip a little bit more, it could be a good investment before England play their third and final game. They're going to get out of the group. It's more so a question of can they win that third and final group game and then, again, get one step closer to another upgrade so that's kind of the situation look how rare Saka is like honestly super duper rare card some of these guys are going to bounce back Cole Palmer I'm kind of not interested in to be honest because if he's not going to play he doesn't get upgrades and if he hasn't played the first two games that's really limiting his chance to get upgrades to the rest of the tournament um, unless he comes in for one game and has like a crazy two goal or two assist performance then it's probably not going to move his price that much so mo focus on the ptgs i would say if you're trying to invest in some of the english cards because there is yeah potential there i guess you could say so that's kind of the upgrades situation and everything that happened yesterday from that standpoint let's look ahead into today though right make your mark team number two is coming and i don't know guys when i look at this team of make your mark team one it's a solid set of players like of course we have the first four playstyle plus base versions with the vvd the nico williams the shua many of course there are some problems with this squad where a lot of players have not gotten upgrades or even progressed like the Cole Palmer, like the Shuameni. EA picked some really interesting cards and interesting names out of this that, like, you know, injuries to Shuameni. 
you know, it's not looking likely that he will maybe get any upgrades. Who knows, right? Still a cracked card that a lot of people would have. And as I look at the leaked list of players for Team 2, you know, I see some of that same stuff inside of it. I see some of the players that maybe won't get upgrades. And we've looked at some of these leaks and we've talked about these before right you know we've got Verlin, mendy and konate continuing with the french players that haven't seen the pitch yet for france are they going to get upgrades because that's the big thing with these players everybody who has played already like carnival for spain right just played he's going to have the um the boost already i think actually did Carvajal Hall play in both games? We're going to have to pull this up really fast. Let's go Sofa score and look at yesterday's games and talk about Spain, Italy. Did he play in both of the two games? I think he did. Carvajal Hall there. And then Spain in the other game. Let's just quickly look into this. Spain, Croatia. Did he play in that game as well? He did. So Carvajal Hall actually today coming in the team will have the first boost of a stat upgrade, just like Le Normand, right? He has played in the game, so he will get the uh, chemistry boost. He also should have the uh, two clean sheet boost as well, the plus one. So that's something, maybe Cordova Hall is going to have four play style pluses and look really cracked today because technically those boosts are already applied to his card. That's the interesting part about these today, again, is that um, if they've already hit an upgrade criteria, they are upgraded and then some of them are even on their way to getting an upgrade as well i don't remember if verts had a goal or assist for germany um doku or you know the Catalera didn't but that sort of thing you have to keep in mind for a lot of these cards and especially the sbcs that are coming out right we kind of saw last week how sbcs could be impacted when a player's SBC is out and then you wait to see how they play and then you can decide on whether you want to do the SBC or not basically Arda Guler was our example or maybe Mickey Vandeven was the example for that we saw Guler score boom want to do his SBC because he gets you know closer to the upgrades right that's something to watch out for with the league players that we have but guys here's what we're alluding to right in the intro we talked about one thing can change the hype on this game it's the pack weight okay all EA have to do today the one thing that they have to do is just kind of turn this Make Your Mark promo around by turning the pack weight on this team too, similar to how the Path to Glory pack weight was. Like, you know, the store packs are not really a good indicator, but they do kind of tell a little bit of the story. I opened a 650K pack earlier this week, and I really should not have done that. Um, but these 650K packs during PTG... Everybody was talking about him, right? Everybody was doing him. Kips, you would get a full page of the PTG cards from this pack. I opened one of these this week. It's the same exact pack. Just make your mark instead of PTG, right? Or basically the same pack. And like you're getting the guaranteed two promo cards and like that's it. Maybe one or two more. And the weight on any of the middle tier cards, not even just the fodder ones. Like if you're getting two or three fodder cards, they're the worst of the worst. And the middle tier to high tier are nowhere to be found. So the pack weight this week has just been woeful. All EA have to do is drop these cards, right? Some of them are going to have four playstyle pluses and upgrades already, which we love. All they have to do is kind of move that lever, just turn that, crank that up a little bit, just like PTG, and it would be a good week. And especially because the 86 double is going to be going away. We're going to have new upgrade packs on Saturday. There's promise, right? Honestly, the only way we can go is up, unless they stay the same. That would suck, but we can move it up, EA, all right? We can do this. It's good. It's fun. Let us enjoy some of this Euros content. The upgrades are great with the speeds. The SBCs, honestly, as we'll look at in a second, the, that are coming, they're good, the leaked ones, and the SBCs have really carried this promo. If the pack weight was better... It just could be a lot better, right? And also, if the pack weight's better, that's something that we probably should mention. It could actually hurt some of the market. Like, some of these make-your-mark cards from Team 1 are kind of expensive, even though the upgrades are a little lackluster, because they're some of the only live cards that are out. If we get new and better live cards today, and maybe for some potential upgrades where, you know, somebody from Team 2 is like, oh, shoot, you know, this uh, this Musa card is more interesting to me than whoever else. Or maybe this Fratesi is more interesting as a midfielder than somebody who is in Team Number 1. It actually could make some of the Make Your Mark cards drop a little bit because people always want to try the new and the better and the fresh. And again, some of these are going to have four play style pluses, probably Rodrigo, Mendy, Konate, 
especially the cards that had team of the seasons, I think, have a really good chance and big name players too to have the four play style pluses. So that's what EA need to do today is literally just turn that pack weight up, right? Um, and it should be a good time. That's it. That's all they got to do because these are live and upgrading cards. The SBCs have been great and they continue to look like they're going to be great as well. Now, we looked at this list of leaked players as you guys were seeing and it looks solid. It looks maybe, I would say, in my personal humble opinion, slightly less hype. We got to see the stats. We got to see the ratings, but slightly less hype than Team 1. If you're talking about the names that are in this promo, still good, but slightly less hype. But let's look at the SBCs because this tweet has got everybody going bananas. FIFA Trading Romania yesterday tweeted out Liverpool fans question mark with a white circle and a light blue circle and an eyes emoji. Now, what color represents or what nation represents those two colors? Uruguay. Is Darwin Nunez coming? There's been rumors. There's been leaks. This has been a card that so many people have been wanting. He would be really an awesome, awesome live card for Uruguay. Um, I think he is, guys. I think that he is. I think that's what this is for. But then again, there's a couple things that make me think maybe he's not. Because he could be in packs. I don't even know. He could be an SBC, but we have two SBC players that are leaked. And right after FIFA Trading Romania tweeted this Liverpool flag with the white and the blue and the eyes emoji, this was leaked. But what does Soboslai have anything to do with the white and the blue? I don't think anything, right? And also, Soboslai, Hungary, not looking really good in the group right now. I don't even know if this card's going to get any upgrades. That's the only thing with this promo. And with some of these nations kind of coming to the end of, you know, their Euro runs, if they're not performing very well in the groups, like this Soboslai, why not EA? Just juice the heck out of this card. Whether he's going to be an SBC or objective, make his stats look like this and give him four play style pluses because he's probably not getting upgraded. I do feel like there could be some disappointments with situations like Hungary uh, where, you know, they, or, um, they might not, have any upgrades and they might not play that well for the rest of the euros and they might not get out of the group and that's kind of a, a situation and hopefully ea realize that and and do something about it and uh give the cards you know boost his stats so that's the leak that we're not really sure about is this sobo sly and then also the darwin nunez i think darwin nunez is a legit leak though we'll have to watch and see today before content because you know the friday player spcs they're always leaked before content now the other leaked spc is gabriel Gabriel is coming as a make your mark. He should be an SBC or objective. And now, since we've had SBC players like every single day, remember even last week we had Garnacho leaked first and we we're like, oh my goodness, Garnacho is going to be our Friday SBC. And then it wasn't. So who knows, right? We'll have to see who our player SBC is today. It could be any of these cards. It could be uh, Gabriel, it could be Sobosly, and maybe even one of these. We still have a Cancelo, right? That's something from uh, a Portuguese standpoint. He was leaked last week with Team 1, and now we're just kind of sitting here like, hmm, is Cancelo actually getting a card? We do have a Joao Neves. Are we getting a Cancelo still as well, or is that leak kind of just, you know, full? Um, you know, like not happening. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that, guys, but look for either Darwin, for Gabriel, or for Soboslide to be an SBC or objective today. That could be pretty good. And then if we talk about evolutions, right? It's been the same thing the last couple of Fridays when we go to the Evo section. We'll all be getting a free pack today with seven, I, I think. Let me look at the pack code. Yeah, seven Festival of Football Academy defenders so we had the attackers we had the midfielders last week right and some of those midfielders fit into the attackers we're gonna have the defenders pack today this is the pack code same as all the other ones seven festival of football academy defenders the only thing i have to say about this is a lot of us are looking to play with argentinian teams or at least maybe to try it out i don't think there's a lot of people that are going to do it but if they dropped a couple, maybe one, maybe two, they dropped two Argentinian midfielders. If they dropped two Argentinian defenders, especially a center back today as a part of this, um, that could actually be a W. And that would make me at least think about using the Argentinian cards for weekend league because for everybody, the defense is the problem. And if they were to drop that in the game today and give us some options, that actually could hit. So that's probably our Evo today. I don't think we're going to get anything else, but we'll have all those defender Evos that are there. Hopefully they give us some good players to choose from. Now, with all this coming out, 
let's talk about the mark a little bit, right? Because again, it comes down to the pack weight of the cards as it does every single week because the make your marks, of course, um, were not very packable in this last week, team one. But if they change that today, then of course, like we mentioned, that's probably going to make a few of these cards you know, drop. And a lot of people may be wondering, Nate, do I need to invest? Because remember last week, what happened was the path to glory cards when they went out of packs and the make your marks came into packs, we kind of called in and we were like, yo, invest in path to glories because the make your marks are not as hype, right? And what happened? PTGs went boom. Can PTGs go boom again? I don't think so. Like PTGs are already up so much. I can't imagine that these cards just continue to fly, right? It's the upgrades now that these cards are kind of dependent upon to actually see their prices go up. I really think today, again, it's all about the pack weight and it's all about the cards that come out and how obtainable they are and how supplied they are on the market to see where the prices on these make your mark team one cards go. And if a lot of people are saying, man, even the make your mark cards team one was clear of team two, then some of the team one cards that still have decent upgrade potential will probably be rising as well, right? It's kind of the same, I think, trading things that we can look into with the games that are happening today, right? You've got Slovakia and Ukraine straight away. I stole Screen ER just a, a little bit ago. He's 96K. Actually, he's gone down a little bit, right? That was one guy that we invested in into this next game. Actually, I just looked at Mudrik. Mudrik is 308. He's been rising, right? Again, people investing before the game happening this morning. That's the sort of stuff you can be looking into, right? We've got Poland and Austria. I would be expecting Sabitzer probably to rise a little bit up pregame. Um, you know, maybe the QER card even rises up a little bit pregame as well. And then the big game is the late game today. You've got France versus the Netherlands. There's going to be so much hype for this game. Saliba, Kolomani, right? Kolomani, eyes are going to be on his card. Will he get a start? Will he get an appearance and actually have a chance for a goal or an assist with Mbappe? Probably, I don't think Mbappe is playing. The picture of Max Mbappe is going around, of course, on uh, Twitter and Instagram and everywhere. And he looks crazy. But the question is, is this Kolomani going to be able to capitalize on the on that absence of Mbappe? And would his price move? The answer is, if he scores or assists, his price would explode, right? Somebody who I still have invested in, who I'm probably going to be selling today as well, is Petit. These icons are still, I think, a great, great way to trade. When you find one uh, that is um, low after a game, Petit's back to 650. I bought one of these after the first French game at 550K, looking to sell them for 650 today. Like that's that's the best thing I've been doing on this game. I sold the Kyle Walkers yesterday, right? I mentioned it in the video. Sold him at 1.48 before the England game. W, right? Still have some middle stats that I invested in. This is a card with the way Germany have been playing that I think could be a good investment out of packs. He's somebody that I have kept my eye on uh, because I don't know if we're getting another German left back or any other cheap left backs today, but he is one clean sheet away from going to a 94, and I think his price could rise. I'm also holding on to Weston McKenney, even though we're getting another USA midfielder today, which I wish was a center back, and I think a lot of people would agree. Um, you know, McKenney has the Wea SBC that is out and the Copa America games are finally starting. So there's a lot more hype for those players um, since those teams are in action. So yeah, we're really just watching the market today. We're watching the pack weight, but the prices are going to move. And one interesting thing about the market that's going to be different is I didn't see this screen. I don't know if this was out yesterday. I, th I think I would have noticed it if it was, but this is new info and it impacts the game this morning. Starting this week, Foot Champs events will return to starting at 8 a.m. on Friday. So no longer does Foot Champs start at the late stage of the Euros. There will be people today that will be playing their Foot Champs games early in the a.m. Maybe as you're watching this video, you're grinding out some Foot Champs on an early Friday. It's back to the normal, quote-unquote, normal schedule, right? Think pre-team of the season. The question is, is it going to be extended past the normal time like to Wednesday morning or are they going to bring the weekend league back and make it end on what was it was it Monday morning or Tuesday morning that it would end like are they going to keep it extended or are they not right you can even see here champs finals oh it's blocked by my face cam it says champs finals available in two hours and 44 minutes right as I'm recording this video a little bit late like um Champ starts early again, guys. So that's kind of no longer waiting. You know, maybe we see less of those rises of prices after the content drop. That's something to really consider today as well. There may not be as much of that two hours after content buyback. But of course, you have the Euros on right now as well. So there's been a little bit less of that anyway. That could mean that some of the prices for popular cards 
even rise up today before content a little bit. That'll be something to kind of keep an eye on and to watch. And uh, I'm, I'm watching this Captavia because if he gets panic sold, 1.3 flat, if he gets that fourth play style plus, he's probably going to spike up a little bit. Um, and he hasn't got it yet. So we're just keeping an eye out for that there. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting day on the market. All right, couple of housekeeping things just to talk about. Let's talk about fodder really quickly. Fodder at content today might go up just a smidge as people do like the 86 double, right? Some of that refresh, whatever player SPC we have. But then I think it will drop later into the evening. But fodder didn't drop like as much as it did in previous weeks because there's not as many people opening packs as there were during PTG. So fodder should dip down a little bit. I think it'll be, again, a great place to invest. Like last week, what did 88 go to? 88 last week on Friday. Uh, let's see, 14 days hourly. Last week on Friday, they went down to 9,000 coins from being 12K. And then they went up to 10K this week. They had spikes to like 11, right? But this is probably what you're going to see again on fodder. Get on the bids. Always, 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 always get on the bids. There will be good opportunities to make coins. The live cards will be shifting and moving. The fodder cards will be great to bid on. And the new cards that come out today will be good to trade with because they're brand new. They're hype. People will want to use them. So new week in league time today. It's going to impact the market. EA, crank up the pack weight, give us good SBCs and continue the hype for not only Copa America now, but the Euros cards getting upgrades as well. Again, we're awaiting the Rodrigo de Paul and all of those upgrades for some of these cards like Alvarez as well. Uh, we're awaiting to see when those drop. Hopefully we get those pretty soon. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. We'll be in the Twitch stream today, kind of looking over everything, seeing how supplied the cards are, making some buys, buying and selling cards both, and uh, seeing what kind of a promo Friday Make Your Mark Team 2 can bring. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. I appreciate all of you. See you in the stream today. It's been Nathan with Accountant. See you there. Peace out.